Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo, and um, on the screen here, I have a, a computer printout from Real Time Handicapping, which is a new software program I'm coming out with, with a book also called Real Time Handicapping, which will explain all this. And this is a, the ninth race at Churchill Downs, which was on Sunday, November 25th, 2018. And I picked five horses uh, that day, uh, three at Parks, two at Churchill Downs, and I there were spot plays. I put them on my website on the free page, on handicappingwinners.com on the free page. And it took me just a few minutes to, to come up with these five horses, and three of them won. This particular horse, Gray Attempt, won and paid fourteen sixty. So what I was trying to do when I developed real time is uh, two things. Number one, of course, I want to be able to pick winners. And hopefully it, you know, picks some good prices too. And the other thing is I wanted to be able to cut down the amount of time it takes to handicap rather than spend hours trying to figure out who the horse, the best horse is. I want to be able to find the best horse in a matter of minutes. And, and that's, that's the thing you can do with a computer program because it can do a lot of the brain work, work for you. And this particular horse, it, since it's a six furlong race, out of all these numbers, the number that I, I put the most emphasis on is total pace in a sprint. But this particular horse has, you know, advantages in other areas too here. Total pace, he has a 187, which is 12 point advantage. That's, that's a big advantage. And on, on a speed figure, average speed, he has an 88. These are also speed figures here, by the way, and he's on top in all these. So this is a, an average of three speed figures in his recent races, and he has an 88. Um, he has total pace advantage of 12 points. This number, 829, is a, is a total of all the numbers, so the higher the better, and he has an 829, which is a nine-point advantage over the next horse. This is an average of, the, of total. And then in class, I created a class figure based on the horse's last five races. This horse has an 82. There's only one other horse who has an 80. Everybody else is much lower. So that's good. That means he was facing good horses that were at least as good, probably not, probably better than these horses. Um, some of these other numbers here are, 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 are better for the longer races, like a root race or a turf race. But I still like to see the horse have a competitive figure. Like this is a um, total power. Now ta total power is a, um, a rating that includes final um kick like a closing kick this horse has a 170 the highest in the race is 175 then there's a 173 and he's tied for third and he's only five points off the the, uh, the horse with the best total power so that means that that's a good sign that means he has a competitive closing kick even though he has an early speed advantage this uh, number here power prime is a number i created using brisk prime which is this number here with total power so you put those two together, and you can see that um, Captain Von Trapp has a 302. Gray Attempt is 296. He's second. So that's good because he, he can finish, but he has an early speed advantage here. Um, and, and the thing is with, with these numbers like the total pace number, not only does he have an early speed advantage, but this number is not just based on the first quarter. It's also based on the, the pace, uh, you know, the half mile uh, time too. So... He doesn't necessarily have to go wire to wire. He could also stalk. Um, you know, he, he has that kind of ability. As it turned out, he did go to the lead and he did go wire to wire. Uh, Gray attempt won and paid $14.60. I actually gave out the double cold because I gave out a horse in the 10th race on the free page and he won also. So I think it was a 2180 double, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was a cold double. So. Uh, again, this is real time. Now, I'm going to show in another video how I combine, I use PowerPace, which is the last program I came out came up with. I kind of looked at both of them um, and compared the two. And and there's an advantage to, to using real time, though, over PowerPace, um, but they complement each, each other well. But that'll do it for this particular video, and thanks for listening.